Okay, today we're going to look at setting up some uh, large build orders and requisitions and some Tech 2 building with uh, EVE HQ for assistance. Now, first here I have set up in game a note here showing what I'm looking to potentially build. I haven't looked at profitability numbers yet, so that's going to be the first step here. And we'll start with uh, bring up Eve HQ here. Now, first on the list here are the small anti-explosive pumps. So I'll go over here into my blueprint calculator, and I will pull up my small anti-explosive pumps. Okay. Now first thing you might notice here is that uh, this blueprint doesn't have any material research on it, but that's because for the small sized rigs for the most part, the ideal material level is zero. So as long as you have production efficiency five, you don't need to do any material research on these blueprints at all. <coughs> Excuse me. And even if you have less than production efficiency five, I wouldn't research them because in the long run, it's not gonna do you much good. <coughs> okay, and we can see here that based on my pricing here is set up for Jita that these can make a tidy little profit so let's see I'm looking to make here 40 so I'll set my production runs counter here to 40 okay it's gonna cost me about 22 million in resources now what I'm going to do for all these combined together is set up a single requisition order that covers everything. So let's go over here to resources owned. Just for grins, let's see what we have. And actually for this one, looks like all I need is the armor plates. But since we're doing going to be doing a lot of different things, I'm going to set up, add all of this to a requisition. Let's call it... current builds set up the requester okay now that's created the requisition and let's move on to our next item which will be the small anti-EM screens And say I want the original, not the copy. Okay, so we have this blueprint here, and this one's pulling in less of a potential profit, but still a good 54% margin. So, and I'm looking to make a hundred of these. I'll put that in. Okay, and that's only going to be that much there, so let's try actually making it 150. Okay, still very reasonable. And I know where I'm going to be selling these that they're going to go very quickly. Okay, so let's add we're right here we're going to go again to add all to requisition and this time we're typing in something we're going to pick out the requisition I set up earlier click accept and it says there is or would you like to add to the existing requisition say yes okay <clears throat> now let's move on to something 
a little more different here. I'm going to go ahead and put in some of the rest of these here and come back with something that's going to be a little different. Okay, next on the list here is going to be one of the Tech 2 items. I'm going to look at the Ballistic Control System 2. Now, I already have the blueprints I need for this, but to check on profitability for these, I'm going to want to go back to my Tech 1 blueprint, which is the Ballistic Control System. Okay. <clears throat> now again, this B blueprint by itself isn't perfect. It's only at an ME of 9, but minimal waste and it still can turn a 31% profit on the current market, which is good enough. But we're going to take a look over here at the Invention tab. And... If you haven't seen uh, my video already going over Invention and Eve HQ, I'd recommend taking a look at that for the details. Right now we're mainly just doing a check on the profit per item. Make sure build all resources if possible is checked. And since this doesn't bother using a decryptor or anything, it's just that straight up values and yep this can still do a decent profit so now what I'm going to do is go back here and since I'm going to be making more than 10 of them which is the max per copy I'm going to go into my blueprints here and make sure that I have Right now what I've done is I've set up a custom blueprint for the Ballistic Control System 2 as an original. What this means is I can just pull it up here, bring up, let's see, build all resources if possible. <coughs> and I can set this to whatever number of runs I want. And this is useful for getting the um, number of resources you wanted for an entire run rather than having to go and use a multiplier or something like that you can look at the numbers straight away okay so we have everything here again we'll go to export to requisition now here I could have just done this with a smaller amount and use the multiplier here to get the amount of resources but one reason why I use the um, custom blueprint is I can get a better idea of the total cost of all those resources together okay so that's added that in but also there's something else I'm going to be doing here since I'm going to need to build components for this blueprint. I'm going to set up a second requisition that I'm going to turn off the component builds. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new requisition that's going to be called current builds components. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow me to set up a side-by-side -side list so I know what components I need to build from these raw materials later on. Okay, so now I'm going to finish putting in the rest of my items here and we'll skip ahead to that. Okay, now here's a little something for you. Uh, I've got uh, blueprint here that I don't have a custom for yet and that's going to be for the vengeance so just to show you quickly how you set one of these up go into blueprints here in the, in the blueprint manager go over to add custom blueprint 
you're going to go for the vengeance and now since you can't move these any lower what you're going to want to do is set them at a level that's going to be probably you'll be able to get away with for some of these because this is also a ship you're going to be using decryptors so these might not be the negative four so I'm going to set both here to negative five and negative five to start with now the reason for doing that is when I bring it up here in the blueprint calculator you see I can't make the ME or PE values any lower than what they are you can go back and amend your custom blueprint to change them but I usually find it easier to change them in here and in this case the uh, blueprint I'm going to be using has a value of negative 2 and 1 so I'm going to move this up here to negative 2 and this up to 1 that just basically gives you a allows you to set things up better that way and go back through here and then the rest is the same as before okay now we've got all of the uh, builds queued up so let's go over here to the uh, core and actually I'm gonna show you a little bug here um, I already have the Eve HQ requisitions open but you'll see that the new requisitions I made don't show up here if you make a new requisition from prism with while the um, requisitions window is open you'll have to close it and then open it up again and then those two are two requisitions here for our raw materials and then our components we're gonna have to build will show up now the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just gonna go over to our components list here here and I'm gonna click edit Let's see now yep can't expand this window here it would be nice if we could but can't and what I'm basically going to go through is remove the um, items that we are going to be buying rather than building That's basically the reason for creating this components requisition is just we aren't going to be buying any of these materials but we are going to have to build them from the raw materials that we're using so it's nice to have for a bulk build um, as well as having our requisitions for the raw materials also having a list of all of the components and parts that we're going to need to build So basically what I'm removing from this list are any additional uh, moon goo material items or um, minerals and any uh, PI materials that will be needed. Go back through, make sure everything is good okay and I'm just gonna save this as okay yeah I won't save it to a new spot but it changed the name around so here we have our components listing and here we have our full-on buying requisition list 
Now what I'm, you can do up here is under asset selection I'm gonna select here what we're gonna be able to see here is and again I'm running a beta version of EVHQ here so the um, in the requisitions component the uh, unit cost and total costing is not currently available you'll just get zero and processing unless you put in a custom uh, price which I would not recommend because then it won't look up the automatic pricings as that changes unless it's something that is rare on the market and you, you're or something you're gonna be buying from a contract and you just want to put up a, a pricing there so what I've done here is also here we have a listing of what the amounts that are currently owned and any surpluses after the build is taken into account what that means is that basically anything with a minus is something we are going to have to buy that amount in order to meet what we require for the full build and also on any items here where we where I already have some available if you push down on the carrot here it'll show you um, what station those items are currently located at alright so basically now that we have all this what we would do is go in and go to whatever hub or wherever you're going to be buying your resources and start either buying them up either on buy orders or directly from sellers and sometimes what can be helpful is for moon goo it's often useful to check in Jita but if you can check another spot it's good there as well like if you have a court mate or a friend or an alt that you can place in another trade hub you can compare prices and get stuff at wherever the lowest price is just to save you that little bit extra okay and also another thing to consider is um, where you're buying your materials versus where you're going to be selling your final product for example if you're buying all of your resources in, for say a Enyo in Dodixi, your a lot of your Moongu prices are going to be higher there. So you aren't going to go want to turn around and then go sell that Enyo in Jita, where the price of the ship is going to be lower than in Dodixi, where it's higher because again a lot of your resource prices are higher. And that covers this little lesson for you if you get again as usual if you have any questions post them in the comments and I will see you later